This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. So as you know, Kyrie Irving is calling for NBA players to reconsider resuming the season so that players can focus on fighting oppression and so that we don't lose focus. And a lot of people have been critical of that. One person who is critical is Matt Barnes. Now he was on his podcast that he does with Steven Jackson. And here's what he had to say. Kyrie needs to quit bull because what I heard was Kyrie wanted to go to Orlando to support his team. They didn't let him. So then he flipped the script talking about, I'm going to give up everything, bro. You can give up everything and go do the Meyer Moore if you really want to. But at the same time, sitting out without a cause or a purpose it defeats the purpose. And then it also divides us. And I respect people don't want to play because if it's COVID and you're putting your family at risk, I get that. But if it's for the movement of the country right now, we have to take charge of this. Yeah, I mean, I, I tend to agree with Matt Barnes. Like, nobody can make me understand why some NBA players think playing would be a distraction from the protests. Like, athlete activism has always been a thing. Uh, the demonstrations and things you can do before a game, the comments you can make after a game will mm-hmm. only highlight what's going on in the streets. And if you're not Absolutely. playing, if, if you are not playing, are you about to dedicate your life to full-time activism? If that's the case, cool. If not, I don't get it. And the reference that he had to Maya Moore, Maya Moore is a WNBA star who uh, sat out consecutive seasons to work directly on criminal justice reform. We had talked about that previously. She announced that she was missing a second straight season in the Olympics before they were postponed because she was helping a family friend overturn a 50 year prison sentence. So she so she dedicated her life. Correct. She was on the front lines. Yeah. So if if you're dedicating your life to full time activism, if you're not playing because you want to be out there on the front lines, I get it. If not, I don't get it. All right. Stacey Dash has officially filed for divorce from her fourth husband, uh, Jeffrey Marty. So uh, they were married for two years, almost two years. And she posted the announcement previously. She said, my husband and I have made the hard decision of ending our marriage. After much prayer, I feel this is the right path for both of us. I wish him nothing but the best. And, uh, you know, she was arrested on domestic battery charges. Y'all remember when that happened, but Mm -hmm. she was cleared after the state attorney did not press charges against her. So I wonder what's the longest, um, what's the longest lease she's had on her husband? What do you mean? The two year lease, this one. Oh boy. That was the two year, the last husband husband was a two year lease. I wonder what's the longest lease she's ever had on a Does she get miles with that? How many miles does she get per year? That's what I'm saying. I wonder when, when did she, when did she uh, realize it's time to turn it in and get a new one? Right. Well, that one's about to be over for mm-hmm. fourth one. All right. And J. Cole, you know what? I woke up this morning and I saw J. Cole and Kendrick were trending. I don't understand why still. I was trying to figure it out. I mean, J. Cole, I know he put out a new song and we're going to play that actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, Snow on the Bluff. And that's his first song of 2020. So, you know, he's discussing everything that's been happening. It's interesting because I just interviewed Neo uh, for Lip Service, that episode just came out yesterday and he was saying one artist who he really wants to work with right now is J. Cole, especially to do a song about everything that's happening right now and Black Lives Matter. And J. Cole just did that himself with Snow on the Bluff. So I think we should play that. Let's do it. Yeah, we don't appreciate Snow on the Bluff like we should. Not the J. Cole song, the actual movie. Snow. I was about to say, the song just came out. (laughs) Classic, phenomenal film, man. We do not appreciate that movie like we should. I'm going to be honest. No, I like that movie. I love Snow on the Bluff. Everybody mm-hmm. should go watch Snow on the Bluff at least once in your life. It's kind of like the Hood Blair Witch Project. You remember how we didn't... Re- <laughs> the, well, I didn't know if the Blair Witch Project was real at first, mm-hmm. only because I saw a documentary about it before it aired. So I was like, wow, somebody actually was walking around with this camera and captured this footage. I thought that about Snow on the Bluff as well. Well, but shout out to real. Curtis Snow from Snow on the Bluff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right. Classic film you got, Curtis. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. And let's get into J. Cole's new song, Snow on the Bluff. 